Commissioner, uh, you referred to a good record when talking about the 46 banks that are under restructuring. Is this all the bad news we are going to receive about the banks? Because the stress tests have not been efficient in identifying problematic banks. My second question is, offering bailout to banks in trouble before or without an investigation into the causes that led these banks into these problems does not seem to be a fair approach from a competition point of view. Are you of the view that even if the investigation revealed that there was irresponsibility in the management of the banks, these banks should be bailed out? Considering that this will also deteriorate the debt and deficit ratio of the country. <clears throat> My third question is uh, referred to the fact that before you were commissioner for competition, you were commissioner for uh, monetary, economic and monetary affairs. The actual crisis is a result of a number of factors, including the regulatory framework imposed by the Commission. Does the Commission as a whole accept a responsibility for errors committed in this regulatory framework? Have you identified any wrong regulation? And what are you planning to do about this? Thank you. With regard to the second question, I should say that uh, the stress tests do not uh, aren't uh, the competence of the Commission at all. Uh, it's uh, national authorities and uh, the European Banking Authority that carries these out. Uh, competition authorities were slightly involved in some of it uh, when it came to uh, providing hypotheses, but uh, we don't have uh, direct information on financial entities, so that we c so we can't possibly carry out stress tests. I mean, I think we all agree that. Uh, recent exercises show that they, stress tests obviously are something that can be improved. Uh, I mean, when it comes to banking, it's not up to a uh, competition commissioner to assess all cases of state aids provided to a bank. I mean, what we're wondering is what they give in exchange for receiving money. I mean, because it's the business model that needs to be viable. Are they going to be giving up uh, business lines that were damaging to the solvency and uh, financial health of the entity? Does it mean that they're going to have to make certain investments? Are they going to have to change their management methods? Are they going to have to change uh, other things? I mean, it basically depends on their business, on, on how they're going to have to change their business model. That's what we really look into. The uh, restructuring plan that comes from the uh, member state in question is something that we can't really take many decisions on. We can't, for example, change the managers of the entity uh, based on this. I mean, I'm always very pleased when a national authority uh, wants to suggest changing the management, uh, underperforming management. I mean, I think we can achieve a great deal by uh, imposing better management on these entities, but the Commission can't do that. We don't have the powers and competences to do that. We can't unilaterally uh, change the management of an entity. I've also been asked about the legal framework of the Monetary and Economic Union. I mean, this is a question you'd have to raise uh, for the, ask the Parliament and the Council, because the legal framework is established by the Council and Parliament. It's not the Commission who does that.